what's good? This week, sex in space, banning certain dog breeds, whether plants build pain, ethical xenotransplants, and the unknown science behind curling. Let's talk about sex in space. Scientists say that we should start getting busy. It's been more than 20 years since we've done experiments on vertebrate reproduction in spaceflight. If we're gonna be doing three year missions to Mars, we need to know how spaceflight can affect reproduction. Radiation, gravity, and stress could all have adverse side effects on our baby making, but obviously there are ethical and practical obstacles to doing experiments. For the time being, scientists are testing freeze dried sperm from mice sent to the ISS. So far, they're going swimmingly. Should we ban certain dog breeds? Norway just banned the breeding of Cavalier King Charles Spaniels and English Bulldogs. Cavaliers are susceptible to height mitral valve disease, while brachycephalic dog breeds, pretty much any dog with a squished face, like Bulldogs, are prone to breathing issues. Animal welfare advocates are hoping the decision will raise awareness of quality of life issues in dog breeding in Australia. But will our government also ban these breeds? We're not sure yet, but if it means that our fairy companions suffer less, it has to be a good thing, right? Let us know what you think in the comments. Can plants feel pain? This is one of the things that most vegetarians or vegans get asked at least once in their life. Well, don't worry. Peter Singer recently answered the question for us and his answer may surprise you. He says that it would be foolish to exclude the possibility that plants have some type of consciousness that we don't yet know about. However, from what we do know so far, they do not experience pain like vertebrae do. However, Peter reasons that if plants were as sensitive to pain as animals, it would still be better to eat them than to eat meat purely based on the food value ratio. That is that animals are poor converters of energy compared to plants. Come chat to Peter about this at our show by grabbing a meet and greet ticket. The link's in our bio. Curling. Do you love it or hate it? It's pretty controversial, but not just for that reason. It's also controversial because physicists can't agree on the science behind it. Tribology is a branch of physics that explains why an upturned glass can slide across a table. The glass deflects to where there is less friction, but curling stones behave in exactly the opposite way. They deflect in the direction of the stronger friction. Why? Scientists don't know, but they have multiple competing theories. In 2020, each theory was tested against each other, but no clear winner emerged. How bizarre. Is it ethical to take a life to save a life? The first pig to human heart transplant took place in Maryland and was a huge success. But due to Australia's quarantine laws, they say we can't import live pigs. It's not gonna happen here anytime soon. See, for xenotransplants to be safe, the animal needs to be bred for this purpose. We already breed animals for other reasons, like for meat, but are xenotransplants a more ethical reason for killing? Most would say yes. But would your answer change if you knew the person needing the transplant was an innocent child, or on the other hand, someone who had abused substances which resulted in organ failure? Obviously. These questions are not that easy to answer, but by studying moral philosophy, we can better rationalize the decisions we make and can learn to make better decisions. Sign up to our moral philosophy course at the link in our bio. Okay, that's all for this week, but don't forget that we've got two very interesting courses, moral philosophy and politics and religion at Thinking Academy. Sign up at the link in our bio. Until next time, guys.